That's how you feel it. I mean, we ain't just being real black and real excellent today. You feel me? You feel me? All right, man. What kind of pizza you eat, bro? You both that cheese. Yo, weird ass thing. Just, a, just childish, right? Regular cheese. Just cheese. Yeah. Extra sauce, extra cheese, extra sauce. You gotta try that basil pesto Regular though. cheese. That basil pesto, it's got chicken, spinach, tomatoes. Oh, where? Garlic. Yeah. Oh, what you eat? Basil pesto, no chicken. Basil pesto? No chicken. No chicken. No chicken. What you got against chicken? I got nothing against chicken. I don't man. really trust no, I don't trust got... no brother on even uh, no, chicken. I, I, eat, I eat chicken. I just uh, don't like it on the baby. That's not look. Man. I love this chicken. I got chicken like cooked in the car. OK. All right, bet. Bob, what you eat? Man, I don't eat pizza anymore. You stopped man. eating pizza? Oh, <laughs> man, I just do the cheese. As long as they don't ask for pineapple, we got a problem. Pineapple shouldn't be on pizza. There you go. That's great. <laughs> we got it, though. He wants to find out. Hey, man, welcome back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got a whole theme about it. No pineapple. Man. <laughs> Bob, you serious about your pizza? Bob got a whole group dedicated to not putting pineapples on pizza. <laughs> Bro, you going to catch so much hell for this one right here. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Black Excellence Spotlight. We talking about pizza today. Because we got black owned pizza owners in here. Is that the right? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's black, black owned black pizza, pizza owners. Yeah. Because the pizza is black. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, because it's like, if, you, if you're a black person and you have a dog, then your dog black. Right, okay. So since this pizza <laughs> being made by black people, it's black pizza. It's black pizza. Blood line. That's gonna be the name of my shit. Hey okay. man, <laughs> I got Bob up here with me today from Edgewood Pizza. How y'all sure. living, man? Welcome to the trap. Man, thank you for having Appreciate me, man. You, thank you for having me. Tate is in the all black. Yeah, I gotta be. This yeah. cool strapping young man right here. This Bob. What's up, Bob? How you doing, man? Y'all welcome to the to the studio, man. Appreciate you know, this is the Black you, Excellence Spotlight, and we know y'all got some excellent things going on over there on Edgewood Avenue. Yeah, Tell man. me more about it. Let the fans know. Let the followers know. Give them a rundown, Bob. Yeah, the rundown. Because I got the info right here, Bob. You can't hide nothing from me. <laughs> I know all about that. Somebody put the code in. <laughs> man, put the one, two, three, four, That's five. That's a very secure couple. Yes, it is. Nobody would ever guess that. 15 years strong, man. Really? Yeah, Edgewood. 2006, man. 2006, there's a lot of Nobody great Nobody was there. Word. Other than Javaology, coffee shop. Yeah. And we moved in, we stuck there, we hung in, we're still there. That's what's up, man. They say you came down through the through the hood and you know hired people from the neighborhood, man. Why not? Yeah, he, he hired <laughs> me, man. Word. The only yeah, way man, to do he hired me, man. So you from Edgewood? I'm from Fort Ford. How did that happen? Uh, my mama told me to get a job. <laughs> 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 Trying to be in the street, she was like, nah, man, that ain't it. You got to get you a job. Went down to Edgewood, saw Bob. Bob was on his, uh, his one-man restaurant and stuff one day. He was taking the order, making the food, and delivering the food. This is back in 2008. For real? Yeah, two years after he bought it, 2008, man, he pulled up on my block. I was like, hey, yo, Bob, what's up with the job? He said, man, come, to come tomorrow. Got a job, just like that. Bruh, that is... Just like that, bruh. Why you take him serious when he hit you with, hey, bro, what's up with the job? Man, <laughs> it was him and a whole bunch of kids on the block. Right. They all needed something to do. Why not? Yeah. So I took them all in, passing out flyers, getting the business up. 
This would be the perfect opportunity for me to ask you what you think about the situation in Atlanta with the water boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, no, that's how they, they I running, deal with man. them. I, have, I was uh, a flyer boy. Oh, yeah. right. For him, I used to do the flyers, and we weren't making yeah, no money. Was a flyer so, if they could get, <laughs> so if they could get some money off the water, that's even better. I wish I was making a dollar off every fly I passed out. You know, they're trying to shut it down, though. Why? No, no, but they, they started, they, you know, they got a new spot now. Oh, okay. They took over that uh, old lady that got gunned down. Oh. Uh, what was her name? Uh, it's called Hey, H-E-Y. Uh, so what they're doing right now is uh, they bring people to different areas and they bring them to work. Right. I actually had a young kid named Quinn working there. There's another kid that was working for me, but he's not working right now. But they got a spot now. It's called yeah, H-E-Y. And they're they're doing pretty good. That's dope, man. Shout out to the water boys, man. Don't let nobody knock you off yeah. the ground. Nah, man. They got oh, they got a man. spot. They got their own water. They got their said, own bottle of water now. Work out the street and go get a job, man. I wish I would have been selling some water, making how much money they making. You know what I'm saying? They catch it, man. You know what I'm saying? They out of the way. They ain't trying to be in nobody. You know what I'm saying? Be in nobody's house or nothing. Nobody house doing nothing crazy. They just trying to be on the corner sell some water. Let them boys get their money. Yeah. Bruh, did you ever think when you yelled out, "Hey, Bob, what's up with that job?" That it would last this long? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> nah, man. And then we he, he calls me his little brother. You know what Word. I'm saying? I've been rocking with him for almost 13 years now. Yeah. So it's it's, it's lovely, man. You know what I'm saying? He helped me out a lot. He's, he graduated yeah, from college. Yeah. He they put me through my first out, year of college, man. Man, man Bob saved your life, basically. That's man. I, I, I just <laughs> said, I, I tell this man this all the time, but he will not take the credit for it, bro. Bro, you, he, he ever not take not the credit for it. He's not going to accept no credit for it, man. He really wants you to stop bringing it up. <laughs> 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 I, bought my first, I bought my first car off his paycheck. See, now you're not even getting too big. He's going to cut <laughs> you real, off. Bro, I have done so much. Off a pizza. Off a pizza. But it, I mean, it's not just me, though. He do it for a lot of kids, you know what I'm saying? He helped out my brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a good dude, man. He makes some good pizza, you know. Bob, where you get the where you get the sauce from on the pizza, bro? You oh, usually don't man. see a whole lot of black people in the pizza industry. No, no, no. When I first bought the spot, I got it. I mean, I got it for a lick. Okay. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> Anybody got any piece of spots out there? How are you doing? Me? Five thousand a lunch. I used to work. I'm doing those. five thousand a lunch now. For real? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. When she money. sold it to me, she was she was going through a hard time. Real hard. She yeah. was just smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> All the is on here. Yo, she was. She was. She was. Yeah. She was, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. This story not? is getting just, black about this. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me. I would have put that in the notes. He bought a pizza spot from a lady on drugs. Coming up next. White lady. A white, white lady. lady. White lady, too. Wow. Is this yeah. public info or just new? I mean, it's good info. So in the hood, she was, wow. <laughs> she was there. She was doing good. Man, you came through. You really did hit a lick. Yeah, for sure. It didn't take you the long to start making a profit. <laughs> <laughs> Once you bought a sign and did the parking lot, it was all profit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what's up, man. So you finally got to take a crack at the pizza business. <laughs> <laughs> That was damn. That's cold. Yeah, man. she gave me the sauce, the dough. She showed me how to make pizza. All this for five thousand dollars. Well, twenty five hundred a week because I had to keep her there for two weeks so I can learn how to do the shit. So you bought the restaurant from her. Yeah, kept she her for two weeks on a payment plan. <laughs> <laughs> she worked for you for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> This shit is amazing. <laughs> Please tell me some more of this story. Yeah. Did she ever show back up and like, give me 500 more dollars? Oh, she's actually doing good. Now. She's in Tennessee. Shout out to that lady. Yeah. And whatever you got for Shout sale out next, Cheryl Lee. I want some. <laughs> so she showed you the whole game. Oh, yeah, she showed me the whole game. Just put this up, because ain't none of this shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, we stuck it out, you know? Yeah. It's hard, but, hey, I know how to deal with people. That's what's up, man. I don't care who you are, man. You can be rich, you can be poor. I know how to deal with people. So you're not from America. Huh? You're not no, from, I'm from a... Eritrea. Shout them out, bro. East Africa. Yeah, I'm looking Eritrea. at that camera. This is our East African camera. That's your East African camera? <laughs> they like that perspective yeah. for some yeah. reason. Nipsey's from there, too. Yeah. 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 Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, her too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. 
Shout out to the whole community. Yeah. Been here since uh, 82. It was a good year to come here. Yeah. A lot Portland, of shit was Oregon. Going on. You was in Portland? Hung out with some white folks. Mm -hmm. Then moved to LA. Yeah. Then to uh, Florida. It's a lot of moving. Huh? It's a lot of moving. Hell yeah. Why not? Shit. I don't know. You go where it's <laughs> at. You go where the money at. Yeah, you, you came over here. You wanted to see the whole motherfucking America. Why not? Yeah. That's what's up. What made you stay in Atlanta, though? Man, the opportunity here for black people, wait, it's endless. They think we just camping out here, man. We can Tell do me. anything. You can walk down the street and go you to can the city hall. Be standing in your hood and just yell out, hey, what's up with that job? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and get one. They start making it. A lot you of money. Buy a pizza restaurant from a white lady on drugs for five, five G's in the life. And she showed you the whole package. Two increments. Two increments. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. But that's not your only business, uh, you know, venture, though. Well, we right? got a uh, new restaurant I'm opening up called Handlebar. It's a yeah. bicycle themed bar. So, uh, so basically, it's just to cater to people that I want to see on bicycles. Yeah. Uh, not only on bicycles, but it's also a bar, restaurant, something that I'm going to do. You know, because a lot of people right now, I mean, if, I don't know if, uh, if you know this, but back in the days, African Americans in America had only two ways of transport, uh, going, going to places. Those feet. They either had to get on a bicycle, get on a train, or a bus. That's three. That's three. Yeah. I'm high, but that's three. That's three, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, they had three then. Yeah, three. I bet. Yeah. So you're going to bring the handlebar to life. I was, I'm sitting here thinking, though, right? So you got Edgewood Pizza, right? but you're going to open one in West End. Yes, sir. So will the Edgewood Pizza in the West End be Edgewood Pizza or West End Pizza? Probably Edgewood Pizza. <laughs> yeah, sense. you know, you know, I had to throw in Edgewood on there, so people know. I mean, you know, I still, actually, to be honest with you, man, majority of my customers are in this area, mm. so they're gonna know. But this Atlanta, if you do that, you are gonna have to say. Edgewood Pizza, but it's in the West End. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, bro, it's like shit. Edgewood, bro. I did order. No, you ordered it in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what the fuck you time at, bro? <laughs> this is Edgewood Pizza, bro. <laughs> Still a goddamn West End. <laughs> yeah, true. You had to put a disclaimer up there, so. Pizza. We're working on that. That's what's up. So you're going to have the handlebar. Is it going to be a place to ride the bikes in the bar? Oh, yeah, yeah. Inside the bar. Bro. Oh, yeah. Bro. I'm, bro, I'm really actually the building them right ideas. now. <laughs> no, it's being built right now. His name is Ben. He's building that. It's going to be, we're gonna, you, you're going to, well, we're only going to let people that have certain bikes to park it inside. Oh, you gotta have yeah. a fly bike. You got to have that's a fly right. bike. You, you can't make my regular. walls look that's, bad. That's real. I don't know. Yeah. Cause what if a motherfucker real passionate about the bike? Yeah, like, man, your shit ain't really, really dope enough to be in here. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Man, that was, that was a, a dope bike. <laughs> that was a dope bike. I'll take that bike any day. <laughs> exactly. I I'm might gonna hang it in my building. Have bike beef. Yes, sir. So what's up, man? I'm gonna get with y'all. I got a few theme bars I might want to open. Like what? The titty bar. <laughs> Sounds like a good bar. It is. Guess what my thing is going to be? What? what? My little slogan. What? A great place to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> great place to hang out. Hey, got it. <laughs> Let me get this Need check. <laughs> Let me get this check. I might invest. Come on. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Shit. Might get somebody to give us five grand. We, we need more than five grand. Huh? We're going to need it. No, uh, even, even with the West End, like, uh, the landlord there, uh, he hooked me up. He's paying for half my, uh, well, actually, 70% of the build-out. Wait a minute. Bro, you don't have, like, you got some luck. You don't have no business course. You I'm a hustler, nothing. man. You know, I was in corporate. I know how to deal with people. Like, what, what were you doing in corporate? Uh, I worked for Starwood Hotels. I used to work for the W Hotels. Okay. So I know how to talk to people. Shit, clearly you do. You got people giving you businesses on consignment, <laughs> free training and shit. They actually gonna pay for all the reproductions. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
I don't need enough for you and just give it to you. Man, you want this? I'll pay for the remodel if, <laughs> if you'll take it. Yeah. That's some real game right there. I don't know what the hell you learned at the start with. The they you did the start same with the handlebar, too. Huh? My landlord did the same at handlebar. Yeah, you got to start coming up here more, Bob. It's, it's some shit yeah. that you know that I don't. That's how you negotiate. Uh -huh. Negotiation. I think it's the voice, though. You got a real calming voice. Yeah. You probably just be saying shit and people just believe be smiling. it. smiling. Yeah. Talking. It's that smile. <laughs> I stay smiling. They don't give me shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, me to work dollar for dollar. I gotta earn every fucking thing that I have. Ain't no handouts. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough. I'm, I'm living in the 40s over here. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's how you take care of people, man. Like, um, I used to, uh, I, I posted a little thing for uh, to feed the homeless, where people would throw money into my uh, cash app. Right. And I throw my cash app up there. There was about $3,000 in cash app to give a slice to homeless people on Edgewood. So what's up, man. See, I always be wondering about that, like, what if they homeless, but they not hungry? There's a lot of homeless people everywhere, man. I know, but like... People, what if they not what hungry? If when, what did you if, say what if they not hungry? What if they not hungry? Like, what if, what if that's, like, everybody giving them food? Like, when all the homeless people get together, they be like... Bro, they keep giving us food. <laughs> we got food. We, we straight up food. We need some money. Yeah, they want money. <laughs> yeah. We need some money. They probably be like, bro, the people who live in houses just don't fucking get it. <laughs> <laughs> they keep giving me bags of food. Why the fuck I'm gonna keep it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> You sound like Frank right now. Yeah, you do sound like yeah. Frank. Yeah, <laughs> you sound like Frank. <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank was a guy that, uh, Frank been with me for, since day one. He used to work for her, who's her supplier. But anyway. Bro, I'm, I'm, Frank, you gotta meet Frank. Frank is one of the dopest person you've ever met. He homeless? Don't come in. No, he, he knows how to run the whole shop. Are you fine? You got some good luck. And he's people, homeless. Man. He is a homeless dude? Yeah. yeah. For thir put, he been I working, he got a rehab, job for I put 13 him in rehab years. twice. He don't really work out. Live he on don't the want it. That's exactly the point. That's what I'm saying. I know. You try, though. You know what? Help. Shout out to Frank. That nigga He's homeless. He's a good dude, though, huh? man. He know how to run the whole piece of shop. Man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you bring the best toys. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm sure he does. You get that. anything you want from Frank. I'm sure he does. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> fucking with you. Man. Speaking for your no, 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 I'm fucking with you. No, 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 Frank. Yeah, Frank, Frank. Shout out, Frank. Exactly. Shout you out, see? Daryl. Daryl's doing good right now. He owns too. Got a, he no, does. not anymore. <laughs> Bruh. It's just these people that he giving opportunity to, man, just from the block. Man. Exactly, and I can't believe they don't really want him. <laughs> like, these niggas had a job for 13 years and still own it. Like, I'm straight on work. I'm in the bar. <laughs> that house shit overrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all this beautiful motherfucking weather, you want to sit up in the house? <laughs> I got shit to do. <laughs> Only in Atlanta will a homeless nigga have a job for 13 years. <laughs> How the fuck does he file taxes? Sir, we need an address. Ain't no address. Ain't, ain't no motherfucking address. I tell you what, Bob, can I use the pizza shop address? <laughs> there you go, bitch. <laughs> Get my motherfucking income tax. Uh, Frank had 750 credit score, though. Don't fuck I with mean, Frank. he has nothing to fuck with. <laughs> don't fuck with Frank. He don't owe nobody. Yeah, he had he a don't nobody nothing. No, for real. <laughs> he had a 750 credit score. I believe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much shit he has turned down. Sir, would you like to get this house zero down? Hell no. <laughs> I gotta work tomorrow. You <laughs> <laughs> sound just like him, man. Yeah, you do, man. <laughs> 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 you do. Let's go ahead. Let's go try to get me Frank. a truck. Hell no. 
Yo, I should have brought Frank with me. No, no, I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> bring him. You can bring him when you come back. You don't just show up yeah, with a nigga. Like, bro, this nigga. Oh no, 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 no. He's a functional. He's a functional man. He's a functional guy. Bro. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, you're a great man, Bob. <laughs> you really know how to bring Why out not? the best Help in people. people, man. That yeah, hand opens up. You get you get more blessing, bro. That's that real. blessing. Treat people right, they treat you better. Yeah, the blessing is to be one. Yes, sir. Sure. No, but don't get me to preach it. Yeah, don't start no church. <laughs> don't start no church shit. I will. I turn this. You gonna start preaching? No, I, I'm certified with paperwork. There you go. <laughs> deacon Carla. I'm no damn deacon. <laughs> I'm a whole minister. Pastor, minister. Reverend minister. For <laughs> real? It's not playing. It's not. Come on, Bob. Now catch up and do your Googles. I got to take you to Ebenezer then. What? They offered me the spot already. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, because he's running for a senator. Now. Told him that I'm not through right here yeah. yet. I'm, I'm right where God wants me to be. I think you're killing him here. I ain't here. And that's exactly why he put me here. He, he knew that I have a certain vernacular to speak to the ones who got lost. Mm. Yeah, so all the brothers that got forgot about, they watch this. This is their church. Trust me, I've seen it. Hey, Amen. Let me hit this weed one time for all the people who can't. Yeah. I, do that. I think I might hit it. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to sit this right here. I might hit it. Just I'm going to run, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run for office soon, so <laughs> Bro, fuck by the, them here. By the let, time, me, let me try that By the that time shit. you run for office, it's going to be legal. Oh, <laughs> Shit, I, they don't have Newport. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have it, folks. Edgewood Pizza, my man Bob, my man Tate. We out this bitch. 85 South Show. <laughs> 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 <laughs>